And finally, the coolest thing in here, or I think one of the coolest, is this big ass power supply. Apparently given to us by IBM Technical Gift Program years ago. And it's a Sorensen Nobatron DCR20-125A. That's 20 volts regulated and 125 amps maximum current capacity output. Really awesome stuff. It actually has a three-phase plug, although it only uses two of the phases. It needs, it needs a three-phase plug to work. And understandably, it's really heavy. It's mounted on this really tough industrial cart here. And there's the, the output. A couple of things right here for the high current output. I think we can just crack this thing open real quick and get a look at the badass transformer inside there. So there it is. Badass power supply right here with some big ass transformers. Now I had a quick glance at how this thing works. It's basic architecture. So this is the main transformer right here. And the, the primary is actually on the outside. The outside coil is the primary. That's unusual. Most transformers I've seen in my experience have the primary on the inside. Anyway, it's the you know really thick rectangular cross-section enamel wire. Secondary is even thicker. That's on the inside there. And got this huge thick wire, probably O gauge maybe, zero gauge. And that goes to this rectifier block right here with some big ass diodes mounted. You can see the two diodes right there mounted on the aluminum chassis. Anyway, that's a full wave bridge rectifier. And then the DC output, well one of the DC output goes down, looks like the positive side of it because it's marked red, got a red mark on that screw. And then you get a flashlight here. There we go. There's a red mark on one of the, the terminal insulating things there. On second thought, that red insulator might be irrelevant because that just is an indication of the diameter of the wire that's intended to go into the terminal uh, when you crimp it and all that. Anyway, the wire goes down there, the white wire below the chassis to the capacitor bank. So there's one capacitor you can just about see below there. There's another one. Don't know how many capacitors are down there. There might be another couple right underneath the transformer here. Anyway, the other DC output, that goes to this huge inductor. That big ass thing. That's just, I mean, look, look at my hand compared to that. That's just one series inductor to cut down on any kind of ripple voltage coming out of this thing. And then it goes to a shunt resistor. Can't see it too well, but you can see that little moon shape cut out of a strip of metal right there on the bottom side of this board. And that's going to be the shunt resistor for measuring the current. And then this is just another inductor, probably on the primary side of the, the big transformer. I'm not sure. And then there's these big power resistors right here. And yes, it's all fan blown. The fan blows directly onto the rectifier block. And of course, all the air will then travel across the transformers and over the resistors as well. And then finally in the back, we got this low power control circuitry down here, some low power transistors and stuff down there controlling the, the regulation of it. So that's awesome. Nobatron, 20 volt, 125 amp and coarse, coarse adjust and fine adjust and you can not only adjust the voltage uh, but you can adjust the output current as well. So you could turn this up all the way to 20 and have yourself a current source anywhere from zero to 125 amps. As long as the voltage doesn't, as long as you don't need more than 20 volts, this would be one badass current source. Got a circuit breaker style power switch on here. Awesome. Now I'm not really sure how this thing varies the output and regulates it, but it might be this one right here. That's an SCR mounted on this 
electrically isolated aluminum chassis and then there's another one down there right below it can't see it but trust me there's I can see something down there so it's probably going to be another SCR and that might be on the high side on the uh, 208 volt input on the primary and I'm, so I'm thinking they might turn on these SCRs basically turning on this whole transformer at certain uh, times during the 60 hertz cycle during for you know doing some phase regulation and maybe that's how they get the the uh, different output voltages and currents and well duh I do have a copy of the ma manual right here and it looks like I was right here's the the input goes to SCR primary control and then to the main transformer and rectifier then there's current sensing through that that uh, current shunt resistor and then some amplifiers and a whole bunch of other stuff ultimately ending at firing circuit and then that goes back up to SCR control so that's how it's able to maintain certain voltages and currents on the output simply by controlling how much of the line voltage actually makes it into the main transformer.